welcome back to our channel. I am back with my mother-in-law and we're together now in the kitchen because we're going to be preparing one of my favorite meal which is simple fresh tomato uh, sauce, just spaghetti tomato sauce which just fresh tomatoes, nothing else but it tastes so amazing. So I want to show you guys how she prepares it. Lady, you want to say hi? Hello. Say hi. Hello. Now we are here in the act of Italian's tomato sauce maker. So she said we're going to try to make the typical Italian tomato sauce yeah. today. That's the goal. We need to achieve it. Yeah. So I'm quickly going to show you guys all the ingredients you need. You don't need that much. It's just purely tomatoes, onions, and basil. But I'm just going to show you quickly so you see what you need these are the things we need as you can see these are the tomatoes right here which we're going to take out the skin in a bit she's going to show you guys how she does that you're going to need a whole onions i already cut it in half you're also going to need garlic you're going to need extra virgin olive oil and finally you're going to need some basil leaf don't mind my basil leaves about to die but we just have to like use it before it dies so those are all the ingredients we need to prepare this meal so if you're wondering what type of tomatoes we use we use tomato roma yeah yeah because it has a lot of juice that's the type of tomatoes we're using so we're going to get started so she's just making like crosses at the bottom part of the tomato so make sure you're not doing it on this side but on this side of the tomatoes it is the bedouin is that uh, had the furniture struck mark like the raft yeah and yeah. if you do it like this when you put it in the hot water this way the the skin of the tomatoes is going to peel out very easily okay. so right now we're going to add the tomato in the water for one minute right yeah the water will cook eh? and make sure the water is boiling while you're doing this Cover it? No, no, no. No cover? Nothing? No, no. Okay. So, so a minute or so you don't need to cover it, you just need to leave it to boil for a minute one or, minute. A minute or two is so good, oh, a minute or two. So one to two minutes. Yeah, then we take the one, the cognac the one, which is in also that you can see it when after skin. So she just said you can see from the skin when, Yeah, you can see when it's like ready to take out just from seeing just from the skin itself. In the meantime, while the tomato was cooking, my mother-in-law said you need to cut the onions, but you need to cut it really, really fine. We come see if I'm doing it right. See, see, take it. The tomato skin is good. Yeah, it's good. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, see the tomato out the salad. See, now she's just easily, it's so easy now to take out the skin from the tomatoes. It's really that easy. And now you can off it. As you all have the felletjes out the can you this in two snede, in four snede. And the saltjes, yeah, they are not so. They have a certain, uh, some bitter smell on the tomato. Mm. So she just said you need to take out the seeds out of the tomatoes because if you don't take it out, then you have like a bitter taste in your mouth. So make sure to take out the seed. And that's what she's just doing right now. And so do we for all the tomato, eh? And now you're just going to repeat this step for all the tomatoes. You're going to take the skin out, cut it into four pieces, and then you're going to take out the seeds. Yeah. So we're going to put the olive oil. Olive oil in the pan. Yeah. Okay, she already put the olive oil. I didn't touch it. Yeah, I little bit of olive oil. Yeah. Yeah. Then the uh, warm is when it's hot. You're just going to add the, the, the onion. Yeah. 
the area. Een kwart van de uh, aaien is genoeg voor twee personen. Hè? Okay, dus maar, je moet zeggen, de gewone die mag niet bruin worden. Mm -hmm. De aaien is heel belangrijk. Op een lange vuur laten even fruiten. Dat het een beetje gelachtig geworden, ja? Uh, Oké, okay. so she just said, what is very important is you should let the fire on a very low heat and don't let the onion brown. You just nee. want them to be light. Like, like yellowish color. Yeah. That's the color we're going for. Just going to add the tomatoes. And mind you, this is just for myself and Giuseppe. That's why the sauce is quite small. Okay. Now she's going to add some basil leaf to the sauce. Like a handful of basil leaf. Some the stale, eh? Some the peaches. Some the alleen de bladeren, eh? Alleen de bladeren, ja? Just the leaves and not the. Okay. Stem. Klaar. Nu we gaan uh, de saus op een hele lage pitje zetten. Ja? Yeah? So now you're going to lower the heat. And let it cook for an hour. For an hour. With a verdele flam. As you can see, we're putting this. A verdele flam. And this is going to like lower the heat. Some the salt. And you don't need to add nothing, no salt, no pepper. You just need to let it cook. Well, that's all. Cover it and let it cook for an hour. And yeah. we'll come back to see it. Yeah. In an hour. Yeah. Hey guys, one hour later, the sauce is pretty like cooked. In the have met on the stuff mixer. And my mother in law is going to use, I, I think I think it's, it's called a stuff mixer as well, right? I'm just gonna use it to puree the out of your hale. Yeah. And make sure that the fire is off when doing this. So she's just pouring the whole sauce right now. So it's canoe. There you go. We have a bit of a canoe Okay. Eh? okay. This. In a cooker pan. In a frying pan, you're just going to put small uh, olive oil and, and two, uh, two garlic egg. and two the garlics like yeah. that. We let the olie and the color of the knoflook even. So you're just gonna let the oil absorb the scent of the garlic. Smack. The scent and the taste of the garlic. And then you're going to pour that in that. Yeah, we put this here in. In the sauce. Okay. Straks de spaghetti daar gooien. In zo'n. in een koekpan, hè? Dan kan je als je spaghetti aan maakt of pasta. Mm. dan kan je meteen de hering gooien. So she said, like, if you already pop well your spaghetti or pasta, whatever you're using, you can at this point just add your spaghetti straight to the sauce, like ja. this. Is de knoflook moet je eraf halen. But you have to first of all take out the garlic. Okay. Out. So right yeah. now the sauce is pretty. Yeah, and then we put a quartiertje of 10 minuten zacht met een deksel erop. Zacht dat het is. Okay, so that you're going to leave it cook for another 15 minutes on a very low heat, and for the smell of the knoflook. So the sauce can absorb the taste and the smell of the garlic and 15 minutes when you let it cook for 15 minutes you can go ahead and add salt or pepper if you want to add those things but we're not going to add a lot of things we're only going to add a little bit of salt and our sauce is pretty much done mm -hmm. my mother-in-law already went ahead and 
pabuelda, so, pabuelda spaghetti. I didn't thought I should show you guys because everybody can spaghetti cook pavoca. spaghetti. Yeah. So, so now she's going to um, add the sauce. So she said it's not if you want to add parmesan cheese you can add but it's not really necessary. The taste is so subtle that I just, I don't normally add parmesan cheese but you can add parmesan cheese if you want. Oh, guys, this is my favorite. Like, you don't even want to know. I can eat a whole bowl. I can eat like three of this. Look how good this look. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. That looks so good. Look how good this is. Yes. So that is the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are going to make it. Trust me, it tastes so fresh and delicious and you don't need too much ingredients to make this. So I hope you guys love it and I hope you guys really love this series I'm doing with my mother-in-law. She has a lot, a lot of wonderful recipes and she is really willing to teach us. So let me know if you guys want more. We're probably going to be shooting our next video is going to be tiramisu. Mom, um, are you going to teach them how? Are you going to teach them how to make tiramisu? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be our next video. Tiramisu. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great time. So it's a deal. We're going to be making tiramisu in our next series together. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you guys so so much, guys, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>